Cheerios has a plan to help save waning bee populations. However, it may actually hurt them. <laughs> so, oops, sorry bees. Um, we messed up everything. <laughs> we ruined everything. No more of you will die. <laughs> so here's Cheerios' plan. Um, inside some boxes of their cereals, they've included a pouch of wildflower seeds. However, this might not be a good idea. Let's uh, show up the image. Okay, so this is an ad for it. You could get um, any kinds of these seeds, like forget-me-nots, China, wallflower, Siberian, uh, California orange poppy. Baby blue eyes. Baby blue eyes. I don't know what any blue of these <laughs> I do. Okay, good for you. Lots of wildflowers. <laughs> uh, however, some of these wildflowers are not native to certain areas. Mm -hmm. Uh, where they could be planted. Uh, for instance, the forget-me-not is banned as a noxious weed in Massachusetts and Connecticut. Whoops. Uh, the California poppy, while a beautiful part of California, uh, is an invasive exotic pest plant in the southeastern states of the country. Oh, no. And uh, many of the flowers on the list are not native to anywhere in the U.S. So they are not necessarily good matches. Uh, one For one, they are invasive, so they may hurt other populations outside of bees. Two, they might not be things that bees are attracted to at all. So it doesn't really help. You're just getting um, some seeds. <laughs> yeah, it could spell uh, ecological doom for certain areas. Um, so, I mean, it does It does matter what location you're putting them in. Mm -hmm. I think it would have helped if maybe they had regionalized them. Um, they did work with a seed company called Xerces, where they that company does make regional wildflower packets right. for different parts of the country, but they didn't seem to use Apparently that Apparently it was time. not a two-way conversation they had about the, the, the no, bees and the I mean, flowers. <laughs> I, I think they can like send certain boxes to certain areas of the mm -hmm. country, too. It wouldn't be too hard for them, so it would be possible to do that. So if you get these, check before you plant because it might not actually help. Um, a lot of these packets will probably end up in the clutter drawer in kitchens. Or garbage can, Desu. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw them away. Plant it in the garbage. Um, so, yeah. Poor Cheerios, they tried. They not tried. hard enough. <laughs> they kind of tried. It, it might work in some places, mm -hmm. but you, please check first before you do it. Um, also, when you're setting up your bee-friendly garden, make sure to leave spaces for the bees to lay their eggs near the ground. Ugh. That's right, not only honeybees are affected by this. Ugh, bee uh, eggs, no thanks. You don't like? <laughs> I like them. Eating them, I, looking at them. <laughs> well, I I want them to produce bees right, right, so right. that the bee so population <laughs> isn't decimated completely. I mean, while this is different than colony collapse, mm -hmm. it is something that mm -hmm. is affecting all of us as people who eat food okay. in the world. Save the bees. Save the Save bees. Them. Ironically, Save you bees. the oats that are used for Cheerios uh, are not pollinated by bees. They use uh, the wind. To this, is a, this is a sham Cheerios. This is a they sham. They tried, kinda. <laughs> I mean, they had good intentions. That goddamn bee. <laughs> All these years. <laughs> so, I mean, try your best is what I have to say. And don't necessarily plant these right away because it might be harmful to your local environment. Um, audience, what other nice tries can you think of? Please let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.